Missionary King in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. To me and your praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Of God and to our bishop, our archbishop, Pastor Brown, Reverend Mother, all officers and members. I greet everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise I am so glad that my Father in heaven. Love is love. Love in the book he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I see. This is the dearest, is the dearest that God loved me. Shall we praise the Lord? Give us our thanks and praise to be in his house another night in our youth convent. Shall we praise the Lord? No good that we have done, but through his loving kindness and his tender mercies, we are here tonight to lift up the name of Jesus. We praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's talking about take away the accursed thing from our, among us. We praise the Lord. Knowing that we have so many accursed things among us. We praise the Lord. Oh, yes, man. We are in secret and things that we have opened. We praise the Lord. And for God to lift us from one level to another level, we have to put aside certain things. We praise the Lord. Knowing that He's coming back with His hands full of reward. And we want a payday. And we want a pay on that day. We praise the Lord. So we have to look in our life and see what is the accursed thing. I can tell you your, your accursed thing. I know about myself. Hey, hey. Because I'm looking to my life before I can tell you about your life. I can have you much in my eye one more when we go up here. We praise the Lord. Because God is not coming to ask you any question about me. I have to give an account for myself. So tonight, let's go on. Lift up the name of Jesus. God bless you, Jesus. Come on, praise the name of Jesus. Come on, man, the name of Jesus. Good day, man. He's all my life. Bishop, our pastor Brown, 
our mother carry all you officers and saints. Tonight I give you a convention greeting. Friends, I know the theme is saying tonight, take away the accursed things from among you. Praise God, you know, the Bible reminds me, praise God, that praise God, you know, there were two brothers, praise God. There were Cain and there were Abel. Praise God, you know, and you know, somehow, praise God, you know, Cain took out of the presence of God. Praise God, knowing that jealousy caused him to step out of the presence of God. Worship the name of the Lord. So praise God, you know, Cain, a cursed thing was jealousy. Praise God, you know, so many times, praise God, we wonder what separates us from the love of God or what separates us from God. Praise God, you know, some people talking about adultery. Some people talking about fornication. Praise God, but you know, the simple thing separates us from the love of God. Worship the Lord. Praise God, you know, so jealousy wants to tell the thing that nobody is lost about. But praise God, the Bible reminds me that jealousy caused Cain to commit murder. Yes. Praise God, you know, some of the times, praise God, you know, the church commit murder, praise God, yes. not physical murder, yes. but murder with our tongue. Yes. What is the name yes. of the Lord? Praise God, you know, and for me, praise God, I want to stay at the foot of the cross where the devil can do me no harm. Praise God, you know, one thing I hear the the pre the speaker spoke about, you know, we know our occurrence things. Praise God, you know, nobody knows ourselves better than ourselves. Nobody can tell me about me. Praise God, you know, because when I sin, you may not see me, but I know what I have done. Worship the Lord. So I know my first thing, praise God. And I must know how to fix it right. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
up, bitch up your legs, bitch up, it's coming to pave the way for a next week up in Jesus' name.
Reverend Mother Perry. Bless the name of the Lord. Pastor Brown, bless the name of the Lord. My pastor, Pastor Campbell, bless the name of the Lord. He did it.
Some people say they can't work with young people. But they must remember to the death of the young too. Bless the name of the Lord. And we are the older force. We are the front of the church. Bless the name of the Lord. So let me say to us, brethren, we have to learn to work with young people. Bless the name of the Lord. Because the writer said, young men and young women, I wrote unto you because you are strong. Because they are worked into the vineyard, but the laborers are few. Bless the name of the Lord. Truly tonight, I can say that I am so glad I am a part of the family of God. God bless you. God keep you back to our pastor from in Jesus' name. Come on, thank you But she have a word. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Put the hands together for our oh, night speaker, which is not a person. And our oh, dear Pastor Campbell, who is the, or who has been ordained this Sunday. Put the hands together for her. And the ordained who has been on Sunday. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Pastor Campbell, we keep on the great shot in Jesus' name. Yes, God is good in her. The one that caused me to be here tonight. And let somebody praise God. Come on, worship the Lord. Praise God, we want to breathe with one another tonight. Because you have a talk to me, and me have a talk to you. About the accursed things that are among us. And let somebody praise God. And let somebody worship the Lord. And praise God. Moses get the charge first. To lead the people to the promised land. Yeah. And then somebody praise God. God appeared unto Moses in a burning bush. And he said unto Moses, 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 take off thy shoes. Because the place where you stand it is an holy ground. And then somebody praise God. Yeah. You know, it's true when Moses in Avon was a person. Yeah. 
and may somebody praise God. And the people start to question and say, Moses, the what is your bring upon us? When you take us over the land of Egypt to fear. So more the Bible tells me that Moses and Aaron went to the tent at the front of the tent and bowed down and talked to God. And then somebody praise God. Come 
to search out the city and then somebody praise God. Remember now that the lady is not an Israelite. The lady is a part of Jericho. And then somebody praise God. So it could have easily put them out and say, sit them here away with them. So because she know and she heard of almighty gift that the tribe of Israel was fearful of an arm. And she knew what said God had given them the land. So the Bible said that the lady put up a two man. And he said unto them, they did come unto me. But I don't know where they went. And then somebody praise God. Amen. But it goes to show that when God gives you a charge, it's not a second to fear. Yes. If you fear, God was not talking to you. Yes. And then somebody prays God. So he sent them out to go to the spy out and say, what is happening? But what I know, the woman was such a smart lady. And then somebody prays God. The lady made an oath between the two men and herself and her household. Yes. And then somebody prays God. And then your life, my life. And then praise God. So the two spies said unto them, when we come unto you in a scarlet shred, that whenever we see that nobody now will come in there to destroy your household. Get yeah, your father and your father household into your household. So if it is that any man come out of your household, it shall be on his head. But if any man come into your household, it shall be on our head. And then somebody pray to God. And the right to say that the lady said, so shall it be. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Yes. But the two spies said unto them, if you whisper our business, yes. out, if this oath is break, yes. call it quit. Will they come and will they break it? Yes. Amen. Somebody praise God. Yes. Come on, worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Praise God. But the Israelites was on a mission. Yes. So Israelites was a special place to God. Because the Israelites are some terrible set of people. Mm. Oh my God, it's a rebellious house. But God loved them with a special love. Yes. It could be like some people sometimes, they want a problem when they give God. God don't know with them. God don't know with them. God still hold on to them because they love them so much. And then somebody prays God. So you know Israel was a problem, a troublesome set of people. But God loved them with a special love. Yes. And then somebody prays God. Oh, Israel turned from God so much time. If you're troubled, Israel, you're troubled, God. Yes. And then somebody pray God. Yes. And that's the type of God that we should have as Christian. Yes. That if when you know to when somebody trouble me, you trouble me, you trouble God. Yes. And we need to walk in that precept. Yes. If you trouble me, you trouble God, big name. Yes. So just know that when you trouble me, you trouble somebody else. Yes. And then somebody pray God. Yes. So Joshua did an awesome job. Leading the children of Israel. The people of Israel was doing such a fantastic job. And then somebody praise God. Somebody worship the Lord. And then somebody praise God. And then the Bible said that they went further down the down. And they, they, they conquered. The Bible says that the Lord speak unto Joshua. And tell unto them when they get you, when the spy return and tell Joshua all what is happening and tell him of the lady that helped them. The word now came unto Joshua, home is supposed to overcome and conquer Jericho. And then somebody praise God. He said unto them that you're going to go around the city seven times. And then somebody praise God. And you know, when I was reading the lesson I was going through, I noticed that there are some certain numbers that keep on occurring. The number 12 and the number 7. Amen. Somebody praise God. Because 12 men from the 12 tribe was chosen. Amen. 12 rocks was collected. Praise God. And 7 priests was given the trumpet to blow. Amen. Somebody praise God. So the Bible says that when they were going around the city, the sixth time they were silent. And Joshua said unto them, They are commanding us. Not a word out of the mouth until I tell you to. And then somebody praise God. So when you have your leader, your leader is leading your right. You have to learn to obey your leader. And then somebody praise God. If the Israelites was that obedient set of people, they would have reached the promised land a long time. And then somebody praise God. So because of all troublesome and terrible they were, 40 years, and then somebody praise God. So Joshua said, not a word out on the mouth until I tell you to. Amen. 
somebody praise God. Yeah. So when they were going around the city the seventh time, yes. they were around the city seven times. Yeah. And Joshua tell them, say, hey, our time no going to make nice. Yes. When the trumpet, when the seven priests start to blow the trumpet, Joshua said, listen, now, it's time for you to make noise. Yes. And let somebody praise God. And that to me is something that we need to understand that there's a time to speak and a time to be quiet. Yes. And let somebody praise God. And not every noise you need to respond to. And not everything you need to make noise over. Sometimes you need to be silent. And let somebody praise God. The purpose of being silent and the purpose of making noise. Yeah. And then somebody praise God. Probably when they didn't want to make too much noise, when they reach a certain time, they would have worse. Yeah. And then somebody praise God. So he caused them to reserve their voice. So when the time comes when you need it, it's because you're poor in earth. You never your voice like a trumpet. You pray alone and you fear not. And then somebody praise God. So we have to be humble in order to understand when to speak and when to be quiet. And then somebody praise God. Because you have some people don't know when to be quiet, not at all. Yes. See the truth? Yes, some people then talk, then talk and then talk home. But we have to understand as Christians that we have to learn how to be a base and know when to exalt ourselves. And then somebody praise God. Come and worship the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And as such, they conquered Jericho. But the word of the Lord said unto them, When you go into Jericho, please do not take anything from Jericho. Amen. Somebody praise God. Except the, the, the gold and the, the silver and the iron and some brass that has been consecrated yes. for the house of the Lord. Yes. And then somebody praise God. But again, somebody became disobedient. Yes. And as such, we are embarking under the powerful team. Yes. Take away a cursed thing from among you. Yes. And then somebody praise God. I'm asking you please to go to your Bible. We're going to go to Joshua 7. Praise God, we reach the message. Amen. We're going to reason with one another. Amen. Somebody praise God. Come on, worship the Lord. And the first verse is saying, But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing for Achan, the son of Karim, the son of Zabdi, and the son of Zerah of the tribe of Judah took off the accursed thing, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. Amen. Somebody praise God. Praise God. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We're going to reason about this birth. So when I was looking through, I was looking at it and I said, This man commits the crime. Yet the entire tribe of Israel paid for it. Yes. Amen. Somebody praise God. Yes. When you become a child of God and you join a church, the church becomes one. Yes. Amen. Somebody praise God. Yes. And that is why if it is that you slip up, you make an error, the mama say, I don't know. Oh, my bishop, bishop, church in God. Yes. Yes. I don't know, bishop, church, church in God. Yes. I don't want church, I get them yes. And then somebody praise God. Yes. So the children of Israel had the entire blame for this man. Yes. And then somebody praise God. Yes. So because of the his error, the children of Israel feared the wrath of God. Yes. And then somebody praise God. Yes. And in the second verse, it says, and Joshua sent two, Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside Bethlehem, on the east of Bethel, and said unto them, saying, go up and view the country, and the men went and viewed Ai. Amen. Somebody praise God. Praise God. Now, this is Joshua now doing his normal routine, what he normally do. 
Make them view the land to see what is happening. How we can attack Watch it. Man. How can we conquer it? Yes. Not knowing that somebody among him disobeys his orders. Yes. Amen. Somebody praise God. And by disobeying the orders, this person caused lies. Amen. Somebody praise God. Yes. So Joshua sent out the man them to view and see what AI look like. How much man they need to send out. What it is that I can do to conquer this city. Oh, no. Amen. Somebody praise God. Oh. Verse 3 said, and they returned to Joshua and said unto him, Let not all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and smite Ai, and make not all the people to labor, labor thither, for they are but a few. Amen. Somebody praise God. Amen. Somebody worship the Lord. So the spies went came back unto Joshua and said, Joshua said, I don't worry for them, don't they, man? It's just a few of them don't get. You don't need to say that much about a person. You don't need to exalt yourself. Because it's not a lot of people there. So just send a few persons, they will conquer them. And then somebody praise God. Again, Joshua did not know that the accursed thing was among them. And then somebody praise God. So now Joshua started to operate blindly. Not knowing to listen man, when they put them see how they want it there is more than, than what he's seen. And then somebody praise God. So when we have a connection with God, God will reveal something to us. And then somebody praise God. God will reveal to this man. Somebody among you the right. Somebody among you the right. Somebody among you the cause of things in our right. And then somebody praise God. So when you want to go higher in God, you have to set yourself for right. And then somebody praise God. And the men of Ai spoke of them about thirty and six men, for they chased them from before the gate, even unto Shibarim, and smote them in the going down. Wherefore the hearts of the people melted and became as water. Amen. Somebody praise God. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Amen. If it is that you're going on, they were going on. Pressing to one and they were winning all battles. They were conquering all the things that God promised unto them. But something happened where 36 of their men died. That touched the Israelites. And then somebody prayed God. Because all along me, I hope nothing ever happened. And now we will reach us and we reach and the final part of the battle now will come up. Something has been happening then they get smite. And then somebody prayed God. So someone with their heart become watery. And then they were hurt. Worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
and verse 7. Yes. And Joshua said at last, O God, O Lord God, wherefore hast thou as brought this people over Jordan to deliver us in the hand of the Amorites to destroy us? Would, would to God we have been content and dwell on the other side of Jordan? Amen. Somebody praise God. Amen. And in verse 8, he said, Oh Lord, what shall I say when the Israel turn their backs before their enemies? And then somebody pray, God. Amen. So Joshua starts to question God and said, God, I want to. Then somebody pray, God. You bring us so far. We need us so great among the Eden. We need us so great among the earth. And what happened? God, you bring us so far. When they have our names in our mouth, they're not going to fear me again. Because they're going to say they're overthrown. And then somebody pray, God. And so you go as Christian when you go towards the enemy and your enemy triumph over you. They're not going to. Yes. And then rejoice over you. Yes. And then say, hey, are you saying you are Christian? Yes, yes they will be triumphant over you. And then somebody praise God. So we have to keep our eyes on the prize. When you see certain things not happening in your life, go on fasting and prayer. And then somebody praise God. Go on fasting and prayer. And sometimes some people fast to make people to make it happen. You can't fast by yourself and nobody will know. Yes. You can't fast by yourself and nobody will know. Jesus, the Lord Jesus, they know my problem. You know me complain. You know what me go through. You know what it is that I need an answer for. That is Jesus, that you may talk to. Your servant is talking to you. And then somebody pray God. It's not that people know what you know. Some say God, remember me, me no. I'm in Jesus, I'm me. I'm me God. So turn your face away from me. And then somebody pray God. Because I'm working the Lord. Amen. And on to verse 9. For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land shall hear of it, and shall environ us round and cut off our names from the earth. And what will thou do unto thy great name? And verse 10 said, And the Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up. Get up. Get up. Who we'll make a light up upon your face? Yes, and then somebody praise God. Yes, Amen. Your leader, you get you up in the hand, get this man. No. Get up. Yes. Why you lie down on your face? Yes. And then somebody praise God. Yes. So God wants to understand Joshua. Why you lie down upon your face? What happened to you? Why you come unto me at this hour? And then somebody praise God. Yes. And he said unto him, Israel had sinned. They have also transgressed my covenant which I commanded them. For they have taken of the accursed thing and have also stolen and dissembled also and they have put it even among their own stuff. Amen. Somebody praise God. So God tells Joshua, you know what happened to you? You know why the people of AI conquered you? Your people them that you are leading, leading are sin. Yes. They have transgressed against me. Yes. The things that I commanded them not to do, they decided to do it. Yes. And then somebody praised God. And again, God was not singling out anybody. He said, Israel, the entire nation of sin against me. They have transgressed against your God. The things that I have commanded them not to do, they decided to do otherwise. And then somebody praise God. When God gives us a command, then listen. Don't do this. I'm going to so appeasing to us. Look so beautiful. Look so nice. Leave it alone. God can provide more other things for us. Leave it alone. Sometimes we make ourselves get too caught up in some things that we can easily lay it aside. And then somebody praise God. And so we have to examine ourselves to know the accursed things that are among us. Oh, yes. So somebody might have pine for you and say, you know, so you have that the father, you have this father, you have that father. But if you yourself don't see it, then you can't change it. Then. That's right. That's and then somebody praise God. If you yourself don't see it and don't acknowledge it, you cannot change it. Because you go to somebody they pick on me. Yes. And then somebody praise God. Yes. And then you're talking one another. You go to somebody they get a pick on me. Yes. Me 
feel attacked. We feel like they are tasted for me. And that's the default. But how often do we take the time to sit down and examine ourselves? Everybody is a work in progress. Everybody is a work in progress. And that is what we have to understand. When you stand still, you're a work in progress. Work in progress means you're moving, you're working, you're working your way. I mean, you're perfect, you know? You're still working. You're going to reach the finished product. You're going to reach the end product. You're still working. And then somebody praise God. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. And then praise God. And verse of, Therefore, the children of Israel could not stand. Could not stand before their enemies, but turn their backs before their enemies, because they were a curse. Neither will I be with you anymore, except you destroy the accursed from among you. And then somebody praise God. So God opened the leader eye. In telling said, the children of Israel have the accursed thing among you. So I don't know what you are going to do, but I tell you, say, if this thing dwells among you, I will not be with you. And then somebody praise God. So this thing has caused a wedge between you and I. I will not be among you. And then somebody praise God. And this is what we have to understand that the accursed thing brings a wedge between us and God. And then somebody praise God. The accursed thing caused God to stand off away from us. The accursed thing that we will fuck up as Christian because they will get closer to you than God. And then somebody praise God. And our team verse. Our team verse. It says, Up. Get up. Sanctify the people. Clean up the people there. And say unto them, Sanctify yourself against tomorrow. For thus said the Lord God of Israel, there is an accursed thing. In the midst of thee, O Israel, thou can't stand before your enemies until you take away the accursed thing from among you. Amen. Somebody praise God. Come on, somebody praise God. Come on, worship the Lord. Amen. Praise God. If it is that you have the accursed thing among you, you can't stand up against the enemy. You can't fear the enemy. You have to turn your back against the enemy. And then somebody praise God. Because when you fear the enemy, you have, to, you have to be as Christian, you have to be as just Joseph. The battle is not ours, it is the Lord. And then somebody praise God. So the accursed thing can be your idol, the thing that you cherish the most. The accursed thing can be so much thing that we have among ourselves. And then somebody praise God. And again, I go back to self examination because sometimes we're not poor, sometimes we are good. We are holy, we are right. But as soon as we put the accursed thing among us, things start to get bad. So things that happen to us again. But if we not pay attention, we not know what the accursed thing is among us. And then somebody prays God. So the right of the tonight is reminding us to remove the accursed thing from away from us. Drive it away and focus on God. And then somebody prays God. So those sometimes we might not be able to identify something. Who look in a fast in a and then somebody praise God. Go down in fasting and pray and ask God. Ask God to help you to pray. Because sometimes you know me not like sometimes you come like some like Satan turn up in your way. Some black is in your way. You want to press it up but yet you don't know if you can't go right. You don't know if you can't go left. You don't know if you can't go forward or back when you just stand still. And then somebody praise God. But there is I come too far. To turn back now. And the things that we go through, we know them. People don't know them if we don't talk. We know them. But we talk to God about it. If we are a child of God, let us talk to God about it. God, you have to problem in them. Prayer works. Fasting works. And then somebody praise God. But we are not going to know it unless we try it for ourselves. So I can stand here tonight and tell you about the accursed thing. I can tell you about how to get yourself in righteousness. But if you yourself don't try it, you will never know. And then somebody praise God. And then somebody worship the Lord. I always say this that at the end of the day, you have to sit on your own battle. 
you have to answer to God for your sins. Say no matter what some people are going to buy us one visit. Because sometimes some people know your story more than what you know it's not. She must be in the final week. And then somebody pray God. Sometimes some people know your story more than how you you know it. They don't know nothing else more than to talk. But you really have to learn to step over some things. And then somebody praise God. We have to learn it like they hard sometimes and sometimes some things come as some reminder. But we have to try to step over. Sometimes we stretch our hands to pick our roads. Jesus and mercy feel like the town, they might joke me. Take the land town. Come in on your way. But we have to learn to look over the tickles and time. And then somebody praise God. Somebody worship the Lord. And praise God. If they can see the Babylonian garments and the silver and gold and tip over them and do that which he wouldn't have been stoned. If they would have catch him a fire, he would have been in the promised land with them and enjoy himself just the same. You can imagine in your Christian journey. You're going down so nice. And at the end, when you reach, when you're this close, when you are this close, the devil sends something and somebody to distract you. Cause the you lose your blessing. And then somebody praise God. Somebody worship the Lord. And then praise God. I pray that tonight that my word. Somebody praise God. They have studied your Bible to show up. 
and then they suck them in a be school for 40 years time but to edify yourself and as Christians to edify the sinner man and to show me your brothers and your sisters and then somebody praise God and then so tonight I magnify God I praise God because he helped me to make it a hundred because the 99 and a half would not do and then somebody praise God Worship the Lord. Amen. Pastor Rose sent me up. Pastor Brown sent me up. Pastor Brown sent me up. Amen. Somebody praise God. Amen. But I'm going to sit to God tonight and feel it nice. And feel it good because I've gotten some wonderful words. Amen. Somebody praise God. And I'm talking about me. I'm talking about. I love when the speakers come and the speakers start to talk. They help me preach the message. And they have strong. Us as as Christian, as child of God. But sometimes you either go through some problem, you feel down enough. But the word of God, when you come into the house of God, you get a word. You get upliftment. You get some for reminder, say, hey, don't give up yet. God is still here. Some still there for your whole life. And then somebody praise God. And then somebody worship the Lord. And then praise God. One of the messages tonight that somebody goes when can King send that lay not your treasures upon the earth. Oh my God, we're more than And then, so come on, and then somebody praise God. This is a good message, you know, but it's not something that we meditate to stay upon our sin. Because we think of the things of the world too often, and not think about the heavenly things. I know we don't say the weak. So we, we not think of we. And then praise God, we're not thinking about the heavenly things. And then praise God, but we have to make an heavenly investment for ourselves. Not for all, anybody else, but for ourselves. And at the end of the day, we have to give an amount for ourselves. Amen. Somebody praise God. Amen. Somebody worship the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Praise God tonight that the words of the Almighty God did not fall on any stony ground. But He made it fall on some good soil that He may be able to grow and He may be able to love some of us in your heart. Amen. Somebody praise God. Amen. And I pray that tonight that the word may heal somebody who had broken spirit. It may give somebody another push. And then somebody praise God. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, church, hallelujah. Come on, church, hallelujah. And then praise God. Take away the accursed things from among you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Well, oh, praise the name of Jesus.